electric sport, which is LP. Now, today I'm going to be talking about what, in my opinion, is one of the most, if not the most, embarrassing video I've seen that involves members of the JDF. People who watch the channel a long time will remember. When we used to do the video them, right? Obviously some of them over the years. On that checkpoint, I wrestled with a soldier, fling soldier all over the place. Right? Then we are seeing the media, soldiers are complaining, say, the sun hot. The bed where they must sleep on not comfortable. Man go as far as to make them mother. Right? Writing to blogs and newspapers are complaining about how much food they might get and then foot are hurt them and then back are hurt them and them. But tell them say, these things are damaging to the reputation of the JDF. The phone missed the point. No people are talking about, but they're humans. They're humans too. But tell them say, not for them you right? It would have better off finding something else to do. Soldier work, police work, is not for the faint of heart. It's not a hobby. And it's something you do because you're bored and not nothing else to do. This is why I do not support conscripts. Let me say that again. Because me and the Prime Minister talk about, right, I'm saying something in the media way. I didn't really read the article, but based on the headlines, I'm going to read it later. It sounds like they must say, they must go try to bring in like, you know, Mandatory for youths to join JDF. But let me tell you something, there is no soldier worse than the one who get forced to join the army. Conscripts are the worst soldiers you can ever work with. You see, precedence is a hell of a thing. Image, reputation is a hell of a thing. What made the JDF so formidable was its reputation. Criminals are always watching, even the civilians are always watching. And them start to think to themselves, well on. Then man that we are go up against, man will complain about the sun. Man will complain about how much dump he didn't get. Man will complain say, man shout off of him and hurt him feelings. Alright then. And if man top it, when time we start certain videos, the man will get fling about the place. It set the precedent for others follow. People say, well on, this is the JDF man that you about. This is the JDF, but Uncle M who was also criminals that ten but No sir. Time for me test them. I'm going to show you a video. I'm wanting to check this out. Now what you just saw in that video is JDF 2.0. This is the updated JDF. This is the modern woke JDF. A JDF where its members are so docile that even a youth right, will look like him weigh 100 pounds wet cannot only kick a JDF soldier one time but get off a second one. They've done it. This is what you've always wanted, isn't it? Woke to this? Isn't this one I always want? It's here. You see, when I see the video, I start link up people right away. I ask, oh, what is some kind of skit or some kind of movie or something? Is this real life? Did I just see that youth kick a JDF soldier? Twice, we could talk about it. Because everybody has said the same thing. And bear in mind, from going further, I'm a dinosaur, so I'm not from this era. 
So I can't relate to enough of the things I'm hearing the man I say. But the man I say now, to all the things around. They are constantly lectured and told, make sure you say and do this now, and make sure you do this now. Man, I get throw over red fence. For those of you who don't know, red fence, that's where JDF. Let's just call it um, the place where people got to get quote unquote discipline. Right? Army jail. Man, I get through over red fence, you know, the good thing, so. Enough man afraid. Enough man afraid for even, right, defend himself in the street. Right? But still, I tell me, say, man afraid to the point if I make anybody I kick them, not once, but twice. What is going on in JDF? People are say, well, the cameras were on. That's why that could have happened. Quite the contrary. It's because the cameras were on why that shouldn't happen. Let me explain. You see, the video gone viral. And by the way, that video, it looked like um, the, you know, I see a watermark on it, it looked very faint, but it looked like it's a quest time. Right? So it looked like a film video. I don't know if they have the longer version. They probably have the rest, I don't know. But when things like that go viral, it show other people, it show like-minded individuals say, oh, so we can do this? And it invites similar attempts, which not only put the soldiers in jeopardy, but it put civilians in jeopardy. Understand how deterrence work. Deterrence is good for everybody. Deterrence say, me not go put my hands on you, right? because me feel say something might happen to me. That right there so increases the chances of both of us going home alive. The moment me feel say me can put my hands on you and nothing will happen, it invites an attack. It increases the chances say me go rush you. But then, this JDF soldier, right, take the kick them, right, man almost kick him down flat. But what happens when the other JDF soldier doesn't take the kick them and the civilian end up laid down flat? So, things like this, JDF soldiers getting kicked in them rearing, right, and then get kicked again, that is nothing to celebrate. This is not no sign of, see, this is, this is what we want, great restraint. No. Videos like this make other man think me are going to try it too. And it increases the chances of people getting hurt. The fact that it was on camera is why him shouldn't get off that second kick. Now I'm not saying he should have shoot the man dead. That's not what I'm saying. The soldier turned him back on a hostile man. The man kick him in the back. The soldier them who claims that them hold on from the man. And make the man kick them colleague who are lucky to be members of JDF 2.0. Who are lucky to be members of the modern woke JDF. Because if it was a certain time. Who are not forget PT until they vomit out on the tribe. Who are watch the man kick on the colleague in the back. Watch the man get off a second kick and I'll know who can't restrain the man. It's a complete circus. Who is training these youths? What do they want? Camille Parrish? This is a big joke. This is embarrassing, but maybe this is what the modern JDF want. They want to be seen as docile. And you see, we, we, we understand the people and it's all about Kumbaya, Kumbaya, my lord. Right. Maybe this is what they want, I don't know. Maybe this is the new image they want to portray. A JDF so docile as, hey, you can even kick with soldier them multiple times. And you see, the video is embarrassing from start to finish. I could talk about it for two hours. The man them don't take this modern woke JDF serious. The precedents have been set. All those stories about him you know, balling both sun at and foot of earth and back of earth. I want to only get two dumping on the one tree. I want to go to the mummy and mummy want to go to the news station and go ball. Right, 87 all of this, the man them don't take on the serious. I'm telling you this right now. There was a time when even the most vicious 87 would not lie down in their bed, take some NyQuil, right, and have any kind of dream of kicking a JDF soldier once, much less twice. He wouldn't even attempt it. But this is JDF 2.0. 
All of the man them a try to give me be a sad story. Boy, so if you're true, a true, a true. A true? But, 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 but. Looking ridiculous. You know, sometimes I see JDF soldiers. Especially when time they first start bringing over a checkpoint, the man them thing. When the SOEs them first start drop. I'm start to see JDF soldiers them on the road. Some of their behaviors and mannerisms are just... To me, annoying. I know say most people don't even notice and pick up on certain things. But some things that I told you that I do, as I say, if it was the dinosaur era, man get PT to them vomit out all them tripe. These soldiers, some of them, them have this style where you see man with them under them pocket, both hands under them pocket and them weapon dust, right, they pan the sling or bounce in front of them. PT to them vomit out their tripe. Soldiers stand up. People inside of him, within arm's reach, can grab his weapon and hands in a pocket and weapon the sabong man chest and sling. I don't know who teach them that style. Right. I see police do it, but as soldiers, I talk about The man have a neck style where they hold them rifle like a handbag. If you know the AR, if you know the M4, M16, them look, where you soldier them with police them with. Right. At the top of the weapon, right. it have a part where to, I guess, to a civilian, look like some kind of hand. When we see JDF soldiers, when we see police, hold them weapon by that part and have it down to them side, like a handbag, all we can do is shit me head. You see, you're thinking to yourself, that them things are minor, you're talking about stripping things are minor. No, it's not minor. It's that attitude, it's that sloppy attitude that causes standards to drop. When you start telling yourself, so that's minor, that's not even a big deal. Alright, so what them hold the weapon, so, so what them them under them pocket and weapon a bong span it. So what? That's the kind of attitude. That when time push, come to shove, people end up dead. Man's supposed to have a firm grip of their weapons at all times. If you can't have two hands on it, at least one. Unless your hands are definitely preoccupied and you have other soldiers side of you who are cover you, you're not supposed to have no weapon a bounce up and down and a sling. You're not supposed to hold no weapon in a handbag. You're not supposed to sit down, head in a phone, pan checkpoint, like say, uh, you keep up the latest TikTok videos. There is a reason why certain things get drilled in your head. It don't make sense to you at first, but in the heat of the moment, now you understand how oh, that's why, right, the man in which is stressed so we never, ever, ever, ever do this. But as I said, different times, you know, we're talking about, I mean, remember, you're listening to a dinosaur, so you probably need to hear somebody who is more modern and woke. A lot of times, I see people do some things. I'm going to ask them, yo, where did you get that from? Right. I that they might teach you now. And man, I say, no, man, you know, just, you know the thing already, you know. The next question, who in charge? Who is your OC? Right. Who is your sergeant major? Because I really want to know. Right. How are you going? Right. You know, people ever tell you, say, don't listen to Serpy, I'm too strict. And the thing you might talk about them since they, that, that, you know, after that all the time. I Man, I say, nothing wrong if I do this, or nothing wrong if I do that. I get it, right? We're living in the TikTok generation. A lot of these soldiers, a lot of these police officers, they live for TikTok and social media, right? They put on them uniform, we get them two or three videos for post and go viral. But more than fairness, the people them own a face. But more to understand something, the people them own up against are getting better armed every single day. And they're getting braver every single day. And their respect for you is getting less every single day. And that is a recipe for disaster. Because when man start realizing that the same gun like them, right, and then they on some TikTok posing thing, and we know there are people who see the video and have a completely different opinion, right? They might probably think to themselves, you know what, this is what we need. We need more people like this. We need more soldiers like this. We need soldiers where we can kick multiple times. Right? This is what we need. This is signs of the modern time. This is the modern woke JDF we need. Right? We need this Kumbaya JDF. Civilians should be able to kick soldiers multiple times. Right? This is what we need. We know people ever think that. But I understand this. In the real world, it is better to be perceived as too strong than too weak. Let me say this again. In the real world, not your mommy's world, 
Not your, your favorite walk to this world, where Molly cuddle you. In the real world, it is better to be perceived as too strong than too weak. Because being perceived as too weak invites further attacks. Look on the global stage. Politicians, countries that are perceived as too strong. All them get is complain. People just complain about them. It's not fair. It's not fair. When people talk about, you know, the quote-unquote big countries. The United States and the Chinas and the Russians and the countries. All people can say is, it's not fair. It's not right. But nobody not to test them. Countries that are too weak, they are constantly trampled over. So what would you rather? Do you want to be the person that people complain about? Or do you want to be the person that gets trampled? This is the real world. There is a reason why certain leaders, even if they are unpopular to many, for example, a Donald Trump or a Putin or a, the, the president of North Korea, I mean, Kim Jong-un, some of these people, you notice they work very hard right, to maintain this image of being strong. Do you know why they do that? It's because they know say. The moment people think that they're weak, it's over. This is why countries like North Korea try so hard to show you that they're tough. Because if other countries start to smell any weakness, then they're going in. And you know who won't be helping you? Your favorite woke activist. Or your mommy. They won't be helping you. I promise you that. So, People say, the military was too rough. No, the military is too soft. You might say, well, we need balance somewhere in the middle. Sure. But if there is no balance, and I had to make a choice, I'd rather be too strong than too weak. But that's just me though. I'm a dinosaur. Right, a dinosaur like a YouTuber trying to get views. But, big up the modern JDF still 2.0. Right. I hope whatever policies you have, I hope it work out for then. I'm sure the work to this right, are happy with you. I'm sure uh, you know the, the various groups right, will be pleased. This is what they always wanted. Many Jamaicans will be pleased. Finally, right, we can do things like this. But bear in mind, the same man them will kick down JCF and kick down JDF members. When them go, one next country. Them quiet like a mouse. The same Jamaicans will tell us that them bad. And them, them unruly and their business about nothing. When them go in a village or a place, them quiet like a mouse. When them go Germany, when them go Russia, them quiet like a mouse. Because they don't know how to fight. Them bad a yard or surf abroad. They would never try it. But again, they come to the green assault. I'm a dinosaur. Anyway, Patreon squad, you look on yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know more life. Patreon squad, stay circling. Bless.